Hello friends. Welcome to my channel, The Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish, an interior designer. If you're new to this channel, boy, are you gonna love to subscribe. Follow me today. We're gonna talk about the importance of feng shuiing your bedroom so that you can have a long and happy life and get rid of any negative energy. Follow me. So today we are going to talk about what the importance of feng shui is. And before you swap out of this channel and click something else, let me tell you how important it is to understand this concept and how it can greatly impact your life. So what is feng shui? Feng shui is the metaphysical understanding of your place in the world. It is the practice of arranging furniture in the physical world in a way that creates balance, and positive energy. One of the biggest positives about feng shui, which is why I told you guys not to forget to tune in, is the ability to attract prosperity. That's right, prosperity right into your home. Why do we do this? Well, we wanna attract positivity into our home. And the way to do this is to really condone and be disciples of the three very important pillars of feng shui. And the three important principles of feng shui are balanced balance, symmetry, and harmony. Number one, the very first thing you need to do to observe feng shui is to remove your shoes when you come into the house. You guys have seen in movies or have traveled around the world and you'll see a lot of people remove their shoes before entering a home. We absolutely remove our shoes before entering a home. We are not Chinese, but we adhere to the Chinese ritual of removing our shoes. Why? Well, it's not just because you're not gonna bring dirt into the room. The more important component is that you're not going to bring in negative energy from wherever you were before you entered your beautiful sanctuary. You're gonna leave that at the door. The next thing you wanna do in feng shui is that you wanna open up all of your windows, and that means the drapery and any covers on all of on your windows and let in the air, let in the light, and you wanna do it for nine minutes. Nine, because that's the auspicious number in feng shui. Air in your home also allows fresh air to come in, obviously, but it also allows any of the negative energy that's been sort of bottled up in the house to sort of release itself and to bring in the new fresh cleansed aura and energy into your home. The next feng shui principle that I talk about regularly is to declutter. I have actually renovated this office. If you guys haven't seen my new office, which is why I'm in here, I have completely gutted this office, redid it, and we're gonna click the episode right above that I did recently that was released that shows you exactly how we did this office. And a big part of it was to declutter the office. What's important in feng shui is that every piece that is in your home has a specific purpose. So if you have a piece, an item on your desk that has no purpose, it should be removed. For example, I have my stapler, I use my stapler. I have my tape dispenser, I use my tape dispenser. I've got my pen, I've got my you know, I don't have 14 pens in here. I don't have 35 highlighters. I don't have papers everywhere. There should be a place for everything and decluttering allows your brain, at least for me, and I know for a lot of people, to think more clearly. So if you use one or two pens, only have those available. Wait till the ink dies, throw it out, and then bring out the other pen. This will really enable you to not only remember where your things are, it makes your time a lot more efficient and it makes your life a lot better. Trust me. So in feng shui, one of the main principles is the positioning of your furniture as we talked about. But one that is very important and critical is not to put your feet against the front door of your bedroom. So from your bed, the way that you sleep, your feet should not be in line with the door. Why? Because that is the position for which you are taken out upon death. And it is extremely morbid, but it's true. If your bed faces the front door and your feet are in line with it, I would immediately suggest that in feng shui, you change the layout. Also, speaking of morbidity, not to make it very dark here, but if your mattress or if your bed is somehow on the floor, it must be elevated because a lot of dead energy resides 
specifically on the floor. So you definitely do not want your bed touching any of that kind of energy. Finalizing the importance of your bedroom and how it should be feng shui, we're gonna drop in some images here. And you will note in these photos that the bed needs to be accessed on both ends, meaning either from the right or from the left. It must never be shoved in a corner. You have to have breathability and symmetry. Hence, you're gonna have your two nightstands, you're gonna have the bed, make sure it's not in line with your bedroom door and make sure that you don't have sharp objects or heavy lights or heavy paintings in the room because your bedroom needs to be a place that's light and free of clutter and heaviness. According to Feng Shui, if you guys are not sleeping well, you know what the culprit could be? A mirror in your bedroom. Bouncing of the reflections in the mirror directly aggravates your energy, thus making the room feel more active and hence allowing for terrible sleepless nights. I truly believe in feng shui and I'm not just saying it, I really believe it. And there are elements that really cross over, not just in Taoism, but other religions and other just spirituality. So if you guys wanna learn more about spirituality and design, if you wanna know about feng shui and other rooms in the house, such as the kitchen or the living room, etc., please sound off below and I will specifically make them for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the spiritual journey of interior design and that you really understand and liked my segment on being feng shui. If you're interested in more content that has to do with placement of furniture and energy and how energy impacts your life on a spiritual um, platform or on a spiritual journey that we might wanna go on together, let me know, sound off below if this kind of content is interesting to you. I can't wait to see you guys next week on this channel, The Red Elevator.